Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our second session for data interpretation. In this session, uh, we will be discussing a problem, uh, a set of problem in fact, uh, based on pie chart, right? But before uh, we proceed further, I would just suggest you do revise the basic sessions of percentage, ratio and proportion, averages, and you should be aware of digital root concept also that I have already discussed in my calculation sessions. So unless until you are clear with all of these uh, topics, it will be really difficult for you to understand the time saving techniques in data interpretation, right? Our friends, uh, I just have a quick revise, a revision of uh, percentage to fraction and fraction to percentage conversion. So you can just refresh it, right? So let's uh, take it. First of all, uh, we will discuss when the numerator is 1, what is uh, with the various denominators. First of all, let's take 1, that is 100%, 1 by 2, 50%, 1 by 3, 33.33%, 1 by 4, 25%, 1 by 5, 20%, 1 by 6, 16.67%, 1 by 7, 14 point, around 14% 14 you can say, 1 by 8, Half of 1 by 4 is 1 by 8, that is half of 25, that is 12.5%. Then 1 by 9 is 11% around, 1 by 10 is 10%, 1 by 11 is around 9%, 1 by 12 is 8.3%. 1 by 13 is around 7.6 percent that up to 1 by 20 you should be knowing right 1 by 14 that is half of 1 by 7 so if 1 by 7 is 14 percent then 1 by 14 will be half of that that is around 7 percent right similarly 1 by 50 that is one third of uh, 20 percent you can say because 1 by 5 one third of 1 by 5 is this 20 percent right So it is 6.66%, then 1 by 16 is half of 1 by 8, that is half of 12.5, that is 6.25%. Similarly, 1 by 17 is around 6% around because 17, 6 are 102, so it's around around 6%. Similarly, 1 by 18, that is half of 1 by 9. So around 5.5% then 1 by 19 will be around around 5.2% and 1 by 20 will be half of 1 by 10 that is 5% right. So this much you should be aware of and that should be in your uh, on your tips right. Now after that suppose uh, you are given any other denominator except 1 then what you can do suppose you have to calculate 2 by 3. So 1 by 3 you know so 2 by 3 will be just double of that that is 66.67 percent. So if uh, similarly if 1 by 4 is given to you you can calculate 3 by 4. So 1 by 4 is 25 percent that means 3 by 4 is 75 percent. Similarly if you are given 1 by 5 that is 20 percent that means 2 by 5 is 40 percent. So the calculation will be on your tips right if you just aware of this much information right. Similarly, if you know what 1 by 13 is, that is 7.6 percent. So, what 2 by 13, uh, 2 by 13 will be just double of that. So, it's around 15, 15, uh, 15 point something percent. Because in data interpretation, you are never asked or you are hardly asked about the accurate calculation. Most of the questions are based on approximation. So, do not go for any sort of mugging up of the calculation. You just take and uh, try to get an around idea, right? Similarly, 1 by 11 is 9 percent, so 2 by 11 will be around around 18 percent, okay. Apart from that, 1 by 17 is 6 percent, so 2 by 17 will be 12 percent, 3 by 17 will be around around 18 percent, right. So, you should be having an around idea, right. So, for that, you should be knowing at least from 1 by 1 to 1 by 20, right. After that, the multipliers can be 
uh, calculated in moments okay and apart from that you should be knowing vice versa also that is 100 percent is 1 50 percent is half 33.33 percent is 1 by 3 25 percent is 1 by 4 because that will also be required right so if you know all this thing the uh, data interpretation will be really an easy task for you to achieve right now further uh, next thing is comparison of fractions that is comparison of proper fractions right so I have already discussed this technique but just a quick recap let's have over here suppose we have a fraction 3 by 4 and I have a fraction maybe 15 by 17 now if I have to make the comparison which one is bigger you just go for a cross multiplication right this into this you should write over here that is 51 and this into this you should write over here that is 4 into 15 60 right so 60 is bigger definitely so 15 by 17 will be greater than 3 by 4 right so this is what the cross multiplication method apart from that we had uh, discussed one more technique that suppose I have three fractions say 41 by 51 31 by 41 and maybe 17 by 22 right suppose we have this sort of three fractions now if you are not able to quickly cross multiply the things or if the data are a bit bigger though you can get an approximate idea of the calculation but then also just uh, listen to me carefully see here the difference between denominator and numerator is 10 here the difference is 10 right so if the difference between numerator and denominator is same that means the fraction which is having higher numerator will be higher so from uh, these two this will be higher right 41 by 51 will be greater than 31 by 41 right now the third case here we see the difference between these two is 5 here the difference between these two is 10 now what you can make this difference as 10 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2 right Uh, since we are multiplying and dividing uh, the fraction with the same number so finally there is no change in the value but the comparison will be uh, com to make comparison uh, will be easier to us right so it is 34 by 44 now the difference between numerator and denominator in all the three cases is same now we can easily make the comparison which one is the greatest and which one is the least right so this is the greatest than this than this right so you can easily arrange them in ascending or descending order right apart from this uh, we have discussed digital root concept also an application of the digital root uh, concept will be discussing uh, while solving the problems but you should be aware of that and unit digit calculation now friends uh, let's take up our first question on data interpretation I'm uh, taking a pie diagram over here the question says at a sweet shop 250 kilogram of various types of sweets are sold per day the total amount collected is 25450 right now we are given the two pie diagrams over here this pie, di pie diagram is a breakup of weight that is 250 kilogram and this pie diagram is breakup of the total cost that is uh, given to us over here it is 25450 that, that is 25450 rupees now what exactly this data is showing right see out of total weight 250 kilogram 2 percent was milk cake 24 percent was pinny 8 percent was burfi laddu was 20 percent kalakand was 10 percent and rasgulla was 36 percent right that is the the total of all this is 250 kilogram right that is what this uh, pie diagram uh, is actually conveying right now here the total cost is 25450 that is 25450 rupees now burfi makes up 12% per of that kalakan 17% milk cake 2% penny 28% rasgulla 25% and laddu 16% uh, right so just uh, for an example 2% of 250 kilogram was milk cake that is 
out of the total weight 250 kg milk cake was 2% so what is 2% of 250 kg that is 5 kg and what is the cost of uh, burfi per kilogram that is uh, not per kilogram but uh, in the total cost what is the contribution of burfi that is uh, suppose I have taken milk cake over here so further I will take milk cake over here it's 2% so 2% of 25450 is around 500 rupees right so 2 kilogram I'm sorry this uh, 5 kilogram uh, milk cake the weight is 5 kilogram and the selling price that cost price of that 5 kilogram is around 500 rupees okay so this is how the calculation is done now let's take questions one by one our uh, friends to discuss various time saving techniques and uh, maybe smart techniques or short techniques whatever you say I have taken 10 questions based on these pie diagrams so I'll be discussing various techniques but just listen to me carefully and uh, try to understand each and every concept or maybe technique right now what is the first question at what rate does the shopkeeper sell Kalakan now we have to find out the selling price that is uh, maybe we can say this per kilogram price of Kalakan right now just uh, see here carefully see total weight is 250 out of this 250 Kalakan is contributing 10% right so 250 10% so what is 10% of 250 I just write it over here as it is it's 250 into 0.10 that is 10% of 250 that is the quantity right if uh, the total cost is divided by the quantity we will be getting the rate per kilo now what is the total cost that is uh, uh, arrived by that is the total amount that is arrived by selling of Kalakan that is 17% of 25450 right so it's 25450 into 0 0.17 right now let's see how do we calculate that right it's I just can remove the decimals from both the places now if you have zeros in denominator do not touch them just put them aside because in actual calculation zero uh, do not contribute zeros do not contribute contribute anything right we just have to place the decimal at the proper place right so I just take this zero from here and put it over here right now I have 25450 by 25 into 17 to calculate I am not calculating this this will be used to just put the decimal at the right place right now 25 I just divide it 1 then 0 then 25 ones are 25 200 sorry 20 and 0 that is 25 eights are 200 right so it's 1018 into 17 that we have to calculate now after that instead of doing the full calculation we have two choices with us either we can uh, go for the digital root concept now what uh, how do we do that it's uh, our calculation is exactly 1018 into 17 right so what is the sum of the digits over here it's 8 9 and 10 that is 1 only and what is the sum of digits over here it is 7 in uh, plus 1 that is 8 so in all the digital root uh, over here is 8 right now our answer should be having the digital root as 8 because we are asked the question in a complete uh, number no approximation uh, approximated value is asked right so our answer should be having digital root as 8 now just see you can always eliminate 9 if you have uh, to to uh, get the digital root so it's 9 is cancelled 8 and 6 14 that is digital root is 5 over here so it cannot be the correct choice similarly 7 uh, and 3 10 and 11 that is 2 plus 6 8 we are having digital root 8 8 over here now let's see whether we are having anywhere else otherwise it will be the correct choice if we are having anything uh, anybody uh, anywhere else then further one more technique we have to apply right so let's hope 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and 5 15 so digital root is 6 it's incorrect then 6 7 8 9 plus uh, 9 is cancelled then 6 plus 4 10 digital root is 1 and what we want digital root to be 8 so this is the only option which is having digital root as 8 so this will be definitely correct choice no need to calculate further right alternatively what you can do just observe that 
the second last digit is 8, 0, 2 and 4. That means it's unique. So if you calculate the second last digit of your answer, then also you can arrive at the correct choice, right? Now how do we calculate the second last number? Just it's 1018 into 17, right? If we multiply, we can calculate the second last digit, but we are not going to calculate the and uh, do the entire pr uh, product over here. Just see how do we do the second uh, last number. It's 8 sevens are 56, 6, 5 we have to carry. Then you just cross multiply these two, right? 7 into 1, 7 plus 1 into 8, 8. So 7 plus 8, 15 and 5, 20, right? So I'll put 0 and 2 will be carried forward. So what is the second last digit? That is 0. So we have this option only with uh, which is having second last digit as 0 because unit digit can also be uh, done but here the three options are having the same unit digit we cannot come to a correct choice if we just calculate the unit digit right so that's why I calculated the second last digit so we did two methods or we discussed two methods to solve uh, to do this calculation right one is a digital root concept and other is the we calculated the second last digit right so that is actually observation of yours uh, that will uh, make the problem easier and the solution will be easier for you, right?